Marlon and Marlon. Marlon and Paddy's. Paddy and Marlon's big night. That's right. That's right. That's correct. Paddy. Marlon. This is hell. They've been friends for a decade and a half, really. It's led us up to this point where, you know, we've not seen them be silly laddie boys for quite a while. It's been brilliant to play this sort of naughty lads night out. <laughs> Really on. thrilled to bits when we found out, weren't we? Yeah. And the script came through, and it, I mean, we la laughed all the way through yes. it virtually. So it's been amazing. He said Paul Randell was writing it, and we went, yeah! And, he said, <laughs> and Mike Lacey's directing it, and we went, yes! It's like it's a perfect storm all coming together. And uh, oh, thanks. Mark and Dom have been absolutely fantastic. A joy to work with. Not only are they fantastically talented and know their, their characters so well, they're also spontaneous and creative and huge film buffs. They just love film and they love what they do. Hopefully I've clipped in with that, you know, and we've, we've had a laugh on set and kind of, well, what should we do here, what should we do there? Even though the schedule's so tight, we've had to work so, so quick. I'm hoping that the boys of the glue have actually had a chance to kind of do things with it and, and be creative while on set as well. I'm playing Inky Stan, the dyslexic hey. tattoo artist. Inky Stan, sounds like a former Russian state. <laughs> he spends a lot of time just staring at people's naked flesh. Who gives Paddy and Marlon something to remember? I'm deep in character as Marlon just before we go on to play the scene with the snake. Dominic's in character too, aren't you? Dom. So Paddy. Yes. That's it, because he was in character, so he didn't respond to Dom. It's not weird at all with the snake. The weird thing was Bobby Dazzler, obviously Dave, terrified of them. Biggest guy on set, and every time he looks at it. Ooh, Moving outside, scene 83. We filmed all the inside scenes in the tattoo parlour and now we're about to start doing the exterior scenes, night scenes and that's what we're setting up for now. We chose Paddy and Marlon because they have such universal appeal to kind of everybody. That you know, young, old, girls, boys love them, especially girls, because Mark is so fit and Dominic is beautiful. And I think they just do a brilliant job on the main show. So to put them in a DVD as a spin-off is it's a, a genius idea, really. I feel the need, the need for speed, the speed of 11 miles per hour. We're doing our Leeds city centre shoot on a Friday night in one of the busiest streets in Leeds. <laughs> and uh, Payday Friday. <laughs> um, in golf buggies. What do you think we're doing? Simple, normal. We're racing two golf buggies. We're racing a series of chavs. It's as actiony as my character gets, really, speeding through Leeds city centre in a golf buggy. Yeah, it went well. The actors were into it, energy was great, the big city feel, nice to get out of Hotton. Keep me warm, keep me warm. You're a bit oily. <laughs> I'm glad you said oily in that reason. Off, yeah. <laughs> it's around this time of night that I need. <laughs> A diet coke bread. Do you know, I know exactly what you mean, Paddy. Refreshing. I don't know about you, but his physique reminds me very much of my own. <laughs> he literally reminds me of me. No, not me. Apparently he's got a weird nipple. He's not that perfect. <laughs> Nice 
Coffee Nuts Bar, it's my bar, an ironic club owner, bit of a modern day string fellow. Basically, we're having a dance competition, a lot of fun and games, that sort of stuff. Marlon and Paddy, I'm about to force them into a, a dance off. They don't really want to do it. When the crowd get behind them, they get straight in. It's going to be awesome. Everybody take their first initials, please, stand by for reverse. Here we go. Smoking, please. The scene we're filming now, Paddy and Marlon's big dance routine. Everybody's gonna find hilarious. to say anything, darling, but I mean, Pearl does have a little moment on the dance floor, and you will see then that she has taught the <laughs> If I could share a rude word, I would. <laughs> but, slightly out of breath. Paddy and Marlon's big night in, but really, it's, it's Sue, Sue and, and Helen's, Helen's big, big night out. <laughs> Sue's birthday. <laughs> Thank big you very much. Big five though. Big five though. Come on, come on. Where's your bag? Where's your magic bag? Oh, you are so this is John naughty. Elsa's look so gorgeous. The false eyelashes and the eyeliner and the lip gloss and the shade. <laughs> He's promised everybody that Pamela Anderson's going to turn up. She's not going to turn up. He lives above a tattoo parlour. He's got not much going on for himself. It's just mostly spends most of his time on the internet looking at women. I think that's what he does. That's where I base the character on, pretty much. Come on, man, I'll let you somewhere. Big enough to get your wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on Steve on this round. Steve Marsh, everyone. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life, and that's Tony Hammond trusted us with it, so I hope we've not cocked it up because he's <laughs> he put loads so of faith in us, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm honoured that he asked us, actually. It's great, yeah. yeah. We're really going to miss it now. We're not oh, yeah, it's the last day, and I woke up this morning with a huge sense of kind of loss, sadness and just thinking, you know, we've spent almost three and a half weeks in each other's company like that, you know, and there's not many people that could do that, I don't think, and you can still come out of it kind of speaking, really, not, not physically harming <laughs> yeah, you know, so, yeah. so, but it's been a joy, it's been amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to go, hi everybody, hi, every time the music starts, uh, 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 uh. honestly, it, it has been a yes. party from beginning to finish. The crew were absolutely amazing. So passionate and so professional. I think morale on set was really high as well, and I think they really appreciated and they were really looking forward to working on something all the way through. From everyone, the sparks, costume, makeup, production team, PAs, everybody right across the park, even the chippies back in the workshop, and also the girls up in the office, unsung heroes. Everybody was absolutely fantastic. Everybody's pulling in the direction. And my old granny used to say to me, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself by. And the crew were absolutely fantastic. Worked a treat. To me, it was quite ambitious in terms of location and content, and, and to shoot that in 14 days was, was, was quite daunting. But the way that the actors responded to that and the way that the crew responded to that was fantastic. I made up that I got asked to do it, you know, but I think what I'm most proud of, or one of the things I'm most proud of, was to have the opportunity to work with uh, with such an amazing cast and crew. You know, it was uh, it's something that I'll remember for a long time, I think. There's two, two, two professionals here, Matt and Owen. I'd like you all to give a big round of applause for Miss Zoe Henry, who's done absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs>